Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Moltrap here. Again, game two of Khan versus KT in the Kungnam Masters SCX Cup 2009. Frozean versus Tempest. Battle of the Middleweights. Yeah, this is going to be another very, very, probably, well, we'll see what happens, I guess, but probably going to be very similar to last game. Um, is what I'm expecting here because we got Frozean, relatively mediocre Terran who sometimes kills like really good players. Uh, you know, famously defeated Jadong in the Pro League Finals a couple seasons ago, and that was the only match that, <laughs> that was the only game that Oz lost against Khan, which was spectacular because everyone expected Jangbi and Stork to take wins and Jadong to take a win. But in fact, Jadong was the only loser in that whole set, um, which was interesting. I guess Jadong just doesn't do well in pro league finals. He does well, seems to do well in individual leagues uh, and normal pro league, but when it comes to pro league finals, um, yeah, Jadong seems to uh, choke a little bit there. Sorry if that's spoiling something, but um, it, the finals have been done for a couple weeks now, so I'm assuming everyone has watched them by now. Um, anyway. So Frozean is the orange Terran in the top right corner, and uh, Tempest the purple Protoss in the top left corner here. Uh, looks like we might be seeing a, a fast Nexus from from uh, Tempest. I almost want to call him Violet because the uh, was cast in the last game was Violet versus Frozean there. And uh, looks like, well, let's see. Yeah, we're going to see a fast Nexus coming from, from Tempest here. Let's go for a quick Nexus. Nexus, it's very good. This is Colosseum 2, by the way. A very, very macro-oriented map. So, let's see a quick Nexus here. We're probably going to see one factory into Command Center for Frozean as well. Um, we, he's got his barracks down. He's going to... Uh, looks like he's canceling out the barracks for a moment just to make sure he gets that second supply depot in place in order to make sure that no probes can sneak in and see what he's doing there. Um... Although, who knows, maybe he could be doing that and, and going for a rush by uh, you know, tricking him by blocking the probe out and then going for a two-factory rush is what we could see theoretically. And if he does do that, he will kill Tempest. Uh, there's not much the Tempest could do to stop it um, with his late, late tech and late, late gateways here. And Tempest actually scouting across the map first, so he's not going to find out what's going on. Let's see. No, he's down to one SCV, so we, is gonna, we are going to see one factory in the command center here. Um, for Frozean, uh, he's gone down to just one SCV on gas. He's going to try and uh, have as many SCVs as possible on the minerals to try and save up for that extra command center. And like I said, it is a macro map. Again, we're probably just going to see similar play to last game where we're going to see Frozean Turtle try and get a third base, maybe spread out and try and get a fourth base. It will be more difficult for Frozean to get those extra bases on this map. Um, ooh, let's see if he can use a pylon to squeeze through there. That'd be cool if he used a pylon to squeeze through. I'm not sure if there's enough buildable, buildable area there for him to build a pylon and try and squeeze through the um, depots there. But that'd be clever, and then he'd be able to see what's going on. But Tempest is in really good shape here because Frozean is not in any position to put on some early pressure at all. And really, that's kind of you know what would be a good thing to do right now because then Tempest is going to be able to easily get a macro advantage going into the late game. And as I was saying, this it's it's a lot more difficult on this map than it is on Outsider, which is the last map um, that they played on that Frozean played on. Um, it's a lot more difficult to get those extra bases, the fourth base and the fifth base. You have to go and take another spawn point, basically. Um, Terrans used to be able on Colosseum 1, there used to be a mineral only that Terrans could take that was, again, very, very easy to take near their base. But um, now they've removed those mineral only, so you have to take, go to one other spawn point um, to get more bases. Um, so that's going to play into Tempest's favor, especially since he has gotten a, an early economic lead. He's going to start putting out Dragoons now, get that Dragoon range going, and uh, be able to hold up pretty well. So Frozean missing an opportunity here, I guess, uh, in a sense, to, to take an early uh, attack. Um, but, you know, it's going to be a macro game. He's not that far behind. One factory in the command center gets you a command center pretty quickly. Uh, and he's going to be in good shape, and he's going to be able to pr turtle in and get a third base very easily as well. Um, so he's going to, you know, we're going to see a decent macro game here. And Frozean's SCV getting pretty far. Not quite, though. Two armories going up. Interesting. Two armories for Frozean. Um, I wonder if this means, I wonder if we're going to see, like, a... a a timing push where he'll actually just macro off two bases and then get a bunch of upgrades 
uh, get, get one one upgrades and then attack uh, when it gets those upgrades going or something like that. Um, I'm not sure. We're gonna find out if we see a lot of factories going down. Uh, basically, uh, if we see a lot of factories going down, that will be the indication that he's gonna be trying to go for kind of a timing rush of upgrades or something along those lines. Um, if he doesn't get quite as many factories, it's gonna be more of an indication that uh, he's gonna go for a longer game, but actually a lot of pressure being put on the friend here. He's gotta get more SCVs on the depot. Oh, two on the depot. I don't know if it's gonna be enough. The depot goes down. The depot goes down. Oh, but he doesn't decide to press his luck and uh, uh, Frozine's gonna make another depot in that same spot here, but he can't repair it while it's building. So if Tempest decides to attack it again, it'll be easier for him to take it down. But um, no, he's not going to actually. So that was a little bit random. Uh, on Tempest's part, going in and spending a lot of resources and, and, and the shields of, of some Dragoons to try and power down that depot and open up the gap and then not use it at all. So Tempest um, was kind of a good thought there, but his, his, uh, maybe his strategy getting a little bit ahead of his army there without the army to support um, that break in the front door. Maybe he was just saying, oh, I've got these Dragoons lying around. I might as well use them to try and put some pressure on. Uh, anyway, he's going to get down a third base here, and um, that's really kind of what he needs to do on this map is just expand, 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 because the Terran's just going to be able to, like I said, turtle up and just get a bunch of stuff and probably be able to take that third base once he gets, you know, six or seven tanks or so. He's going to be able to move out and secure that third base as well and then macro up off those three bases. Um, and this map, you know, we're, we're probably going to see, you know, maybe a, a rush off those three bases. I doubt we'll see Frozen even try and take those uh, fourth and fifth bases later on. He's probably going to try and macro up um, as, as quickly as possible off three bases. Um, interesting, we're not seeing a ton of factories out of Frozen unless there's some place that I haven't seen. Um, I'm not sure what he's spending his money on, to be completely honest. Because um, he's got a lot of money coming in right now. He's got those two bases going pretty heartily. Um, but I'm not sure what he's going to be spending his money on these days. Now, Frozen coming out here with some vultures. Speed, vol speed upgraded, probably with mines as well. Gonna try and force his way in and kill some probes. Um, oh, gonna see those dragoons a little bit late though. I don't think he's gonna be able to accomplish much. Tempest has a really good defense on that third base. I don't know what his choke looks like, um, but Frozean may not even temp attempt to go into his choke point there because that's gonna be probably very easily defended as well. So um, Frozean getting that science facility very quickly as well. For some reason on YouTube, I can never see if the armories are doing anything to see if he's upgrading or not. Um, the quality, so I'm not sure if he is upgrading, but I'm sure he is. Um, he would have gotten those dual up, uh, dual armories if he wasn't planning on doing some upgrades here. But um, yeah, Frozia not accomplishing anything with those vultures. 